How to create Heijin AI lip sync videos step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create some amazing lip sync AI videos all with the help of a simple tool called Heijin. Now Heijin is one of the leading platforms out there and it has some really affordable pricing which can help you in getting started anytime, anywhere. So whether you're just a beginner and you want to try it out for free or if you are a creator or a larger team, they have plans that can accommodate all types of users. We're going to be going into detail into pricing later on in this video. First, let's jump right into Heijin and create our own lip sync video. Now, to get started, simply sign up on Heijin. For that, all you need is an email address. Once you've signed on, all you have to do is click on Create Video. Now, you have a few different options when you're creating your video with Heijin, whether it is to use a template or if you want to generate a script with AI. This is totally up to you if you want to start from scratch and create your own lip syncing video with your own transcript or if you want to generate your script. I'm going to proceed with starting from scratch because I want to build my video completely by myself. So first off, we're going to choose the orientation we want, so whether you want to create a portrait or a landscape video. I'm going to be creating a portrait video because I want to create some short form content. Now, once you have chosen this, you can proceed on to the next step. Now you will see a AI avatar is going to appear on your canvas and you can click on the top right where it says avatars. Once you click on those avatars, you can filter out the type of avatar you're looking for, whether it is a professional avatar, lifestyle avatar, UGC, AI generated, community, or favorites. You have quite a few different options that can help you in getting started. So we can browse around and find the perfect AI tool for us. Let's say I want to build a short infomercial or a short tidbit on our top hiring and recruitment techniques or the top things to look at within a candidate. So let's say for this, I want to be using something that looks professional. So I think I want to go with maybe Carolyn or Shirley. All of these look pretty decent. And I think I'm going to go with this one, which is Hada. And we can see we have several different postures and looks for each individual AI face as well. If I want to use Annie, which is one of their really popular faces, we have different variations for Annie as well. So we have Annie in different clothing as well as Annie present in different environments. So you can take the same AI avatar and have it be placed in multiple different scenarios and situations based upon the type of content you're creating. This makes it especially helpful if you're trying to build your content with one particular AI face. So I want to add some B-roll in the back background. For that, I'm going to keep a no background video. I'm going to be using this one where she is in a blue suit. Once I've selected this, I am going to proceed and enter my transcript. Now, you can click on scene and add multiple different scenes over here as well as change the appearance of your AI avatar. So in my first scene, I want to open this up with some B-roll. I'm going to click on media and then click on videos and then I'm going to choose the b-roll that I want. I want something that is office related so I'm just going to search for office over here. Once I search for office I will find all the royalty free videos available. So I'm going to go with something along the lines of this one or maybe this one where it shows like a corporate environment and I'm just going to be picking one of these out like so. Once I choose it, I'm going to click on this and then set this as the background. Then I'm going to start typing out my transcript. Now, one of the things I really like about using Heijin is that not only do you have the ability to write your own transcript, but you can also do a audio recording of your transcript. So simply click on audio over here and then click on record. Once you click on record, just choose your microphone. And once you've chosen the microphone, you're going to proceed with recording the audio. So I'm going to record a small audio clip for this particular scene. Are you tired of using old AI tools to create your own infomercials? Now, once we do that, we're going to click on add audio and we can even do voice mirroring, which can help us in creating a AI audio instead of our own. We're now going to be using our own audio instead we're just going to simply click on the top right whenever our audio is created and we are going to click on turn audio into text. Once we do that, we're going to remove this. And once we do that, we can see we have this little text. Now, this is not accurate. I think I'm going to change this because I want to opt for a different direction. So instead of this, we're going to add top three things to look for in a candidate. I'm going to record this. And then again, choose my microphone. Top three things to look for in a candidate whenever you're hiring an HR. 
And now I'm just going to click on voice mirroring and then add audio. Now, the difference between converting this into a mirrored voice versus using this as a transcript is that when you use a transcript, it is able to just basically use the entire script or it takes the script and it directly just adds the inflections as the punctuation dictates. However, if you choose to record your audio, then it chooses to add your highs and lows, the way that you're pronouncing everything, the way that you are speaking, what you're emphasizing. So you can do that with this as well. I'm just going to type out a quick little scene, top three things in HR. Now, after that, I'm going to go into the second scene, but in this, instead of Annie being at the forefront, I want Annie to be in a space. So I'm going to click on over here and I can choose a different scenario. So I'm going to go here, go into Annie and then scroll down. And then I'm going to be choosing this one here. And then I'm going to resize this and then place it right over here, like so. I think I want to go with an office environment where visually more available. So I think I want to go with something like this one over here, like so. Once I've done that, I'm just going to place Annie over here and then I can proceed. Again, I'm going to record the next audio clip. HR candidates need to be likable. And then I'm just going to click on add audio. Once I click on add audio, it will transcribe my audio for me. And I'm only going to be keeping the transcription because I want this to be a very simple audio so I can turn the audio into text and then I can add more scenes as I go. Once you're satisfied with the way that your video looks, you're going to click on generate on the top right. This is going to be my HR video and then you're going to choose your resolution, the FPS, as well as your format. Then click on submit. Once you click on submit over here, your lip sync AI video is going to be created. Whether you're doing this for ads, UGC content, or even music videos, you can truly do this for anything. So after we've done this, our video is currently in processing. It can take a few minutes. Usually it doesn't take very long. You have to wait around five minutes at max to view your video and make sure to preview your video because if you don't preview your video you are not able to you know um get a full idea of the b-roll and the way that the audio is going to be you can always add music and other elements within heygen as well i'm just going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be finished and then i'll show you guys our finished video so now our video is ready and let's take a look I'm just going to click on watch over here and once we click on watch we can view our video and I'm going to show you guys the audio for this as well. Top three things to look for in a candidate whenever you're hiring an HR. HR candidates need to be likable. So you guys can see this was a very short video and once you've created your video you can even translate it into multiple different languages. So you can see on the right you have the option to translate the script or translate the text on the canvas. And then later on, if you want, you can even click on edit video to further edit your video. And the best part about all of this is that if you go into the pricing plans, the pricing plans start at free because you can create three videos per month with the video length being up to three minutes per video. And you have 720p video exports. With the creator plan, you have unlimited videos and you can create upwards of 30 minutes of content. And the team plan allows you to create unlimited videos with five minutes of avatar IV per month. So what's there to wait for? These are amazing content options, which are not just going to be something you can create with other plans or other platforms as easily as Heijin has currently made. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.